What's up YouTube, it's Castle Scope. I'm back with another video. Appreciate you guys stopping in for another video. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. So the last week on my Instagram page, I posted this, this whole graphic. This is just a section of it. It was all 30 teams and one player representing each team with a still can't breathe t-shirt, I can't breathe, whatever text you want to really put on it. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that exactly. Putting a t-shirt on a player and warping the text and just making it look really professional and really clean so that you guys can start making your own uh, Still Can't Breathe edits or just showing support with whatever whatever graphic you want to put on t-shirts, man, like, really. So, I'm going to need you guys to sit back. It's a couple simple steps, not too much, but I hope you guys learn a lot from this Photoshop tutorial that I'm going to show you guys. So let's hop right into it. Let's not waste no time, man. Alright, so the first step of this tutorial, you're going to need to get your picture, your base picture that you're going to use. In this case, since I didn't do Kawhi, did Paul George for the Clippers representing, I'm going to mask out Kawhi first. And the great thing about this is what I searched on Getty Images to get this is Kawhi Media, so that I would have a clean background, so I got that white background, so I can just automatically go up to the Object Selection tool, it's a new tool, it's up here. You can press W and then start to cycle through it. But um, you can just go over with the object selection tool and it usually does a pretty good job. And whatever job, see, it does a pretty good job, but you're still gonna need to edit it a little bit. So once you got that, just edit it a little bit and make your selection look a lot neater. And I use the lasso tool to make that look neat. And then once I'm done with that, I'll get back to you guys. I switched to the pen tool. Pen tool helps you me out a lot usually you can just kind of switch back and forth between the two whatever really suits your needs you know there's no right way or wrong way all right so here's my selection right here now what I'm gonna do is click that little layer mask icon and see that now we got Kawhi all masked out and for my t-shirt my t-shirt picture you guys can look up any really t-shirt pictures but for this one look at young brawny not brawny but you know Bron James I can't be mixing those two up but we got Bron and we got Kawhi but for now you're gonna need to mask this t-shirt because we're not gonna use LeBron but just mask the t-shirt out use the pen tool it's P the shortcut is or it's right here this little like anchor it's kind of like a anchor I'd say icon just you're gonna need to use that and then just take your time and masking out the t-shirt so once you got it all pen tooled out make your selection right click and press make selection and make a new selection press ok and now you got your selection we're gonna do the same thing we did with Kawhi once we had our selection built in and I'm gonna mask out that t-shirt okay so now we got our t-shirt masked out, you can press Control c and copy that. And then you're going to press Control v to paste. So now we got our t-shirt on there. But what's our next step? We got to warp this to get onto Kawhi. And what I like to do off the bat is make a duplicate copy. So you press Control j Control j is going to make a duplicate. Hide the first one. I'm just using that as a, as a decoy just in case I need it. And then I convert it to a smart object. So convert that to a smart object and then you're gonna you're gonna kind of resize it where you think it's gonna go but now our our next goal is getting these arms to match up like because these arms aren't matching up so your first plan of approach it might be off instinct to go right to the warp tool and that could help that could do it sometimes but sometimes you're you lose some of the quality um of the the structure of the t-shirt so I'm gonna show you guys right now so you go like this but then you're like uh that looks a little way too big so then you could just undo it and I'll show you guys what I had to do a lot of the time on these so I rasterize it and then I go and make selections I just take off the arms by themselves so I lasso tool, I press L, lasso tool, make a selection, and I can control and cut that, and I'm gonna paste it back. 
So I'm just gonna cut out both of the arms. So press Control X and then Control V. Control X. All right, whoops. Control X. You gotta get on the right layer. We get on the right layer. Control X. Control V. And then you got those two all set. Now let's let's work with the T-shirt again. I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. Now I'm gonna put right click and press the warp tool. And t-shirts usually go a little bit below like the shorts, the waistline. And just knowing that from I don't know. Just knowing it. <laughs> and then look at look closely and and make sure yeah, it's like right around the collar. The collar line is good because a lot of time the collar line will be up there and it's like, no, oh, that does not look real. So then we have to put these back. So I'm gonna control and free control T and free transform a little bit. And now I'm gonna press warp. From here it's pretty much just resizing and being careful of what you're doing. So then we got that. So that's looking better already. And and it's not making the, the base of the t-shirt very wide. And then we can do the same thing with this one. Boom fit it in there warp it a little bit got our warps warp tool out so we right click and press warp and then then okay now you're good no nah, no you're not good yet see this part now you can actually merge all of these so merge them together but we need to fill in for this spot right here so let's take our lasso tool L and let's just let's just see what the content aware fill has for us because sometimes it works out very well sometimes it doesn't so let's see what it has in store so we got our lasso then you're gonna press shift f5 and you're gonna content aware fill in see that looks pretty good actually surprised because sometimes content aware doesn't work very well and then to get rid of this little like black part you're gonna just use your your uh, clone stamp tool s is the shortcut and then just go in and try to make it look as realistic as possible and nothing has to be perfect but you want it to look really really realistic so there we go I'm just fine-tuning it and see we missed a little bit up here but that's all right that's not gonna be like too noticeable and then we can just bring it or fix that up a little bit align everything all right so you got the right side done now the left side didn't need much tweaking but I guess the one thing you could do is use the mixer brush tool and kind of blend in that harsh line if you want okay and now the last thing that you need to do with this t-shirt is fix the hands that you see so these hands right here you don't want you want those to still be um, on the t-shirt or like on the on his body because it would just look too weird without so I'm gonna add a layer mask or actually I'm gonna hide this I'll do it this way show you guys a better way I'm gonna hide this t-shirt and now I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm gonna make a selection of the hands. So just take your time and select the hands. Okay, now we got our selection of the hands covering. So I'm gonna save it. Save selection. Hands covering shirt. That's all save it as, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to make a duplicate. Apply your layer mask. And now you're gonna load your selection that you just made. Hands covering shirt, load that selection, and then make a layer mask of it. And then bring it to the top. See, now you got your hands covering, but you just need to do a little bit of fine tuning so that this stuff isn't getting in the way, making it look not nice. So just use that lasso tool and get that extra stuff out. All right, so now we got rid of the excess stuff um, almost completely. Let's just go back in, zoom in real quick, go close, and uh, use that white brush, or black brush, because black takes away, white reveals. 
All right, so now you got your hands all good. You got your t-shirt good. All right, so now the last step of making this is adding your text. So I'll just say, I can't breathe. And if you guys don't know, the text that you use for this is called Comic Sans. People actually make fun of Comic Sans, but I mean, that was the font that was on the old NBA I Can't Breathe shirt. So we're going to go with that one. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of Comic Sans, Comic Sans either, but whatever. So you just write that out in Comic Sans, it's bold font. Then just kind of get a feel of what you think the font size would be. Like it, You just gotta kind of know a feel of a t-shirt, what a, the font size would be. And then convert it to a smart object. And then you're gonna have to warp it a little bit. Just warp it and adjust, use the warp tool and adjust where the, the kind of where the, the wrinkles of the shirt are. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you warp it just a little bit, and even if it's not like completely perfect, it looks more realistic. You know what I mean? It just looks more real realistic when you warp it onto the shirt, so it's not just like straight text. You know? So there it goes. I can't breathe. And then what you're gonna have to do with this is, so you have your T-shirt layer, right? Make a duplicate of your T-shirt layer. Apply that layer mask to it, and then Control, press Control, click on the I can't breathe text layer. And then click back onto the t-shirt layer and then press Control j to make a duplicate of the text. So now it's going to look like the text isn't really there. But you're just going to have to add a hue and saturation layer, right? Right from here, the semicircle, add a hue and saturation layer. Drop the saturation down. Now you can see it a little bit. And now let's drop it down to Channel Mixer. Channel Mixer is going to turn it from that, that grayish to that, to that white color that you want. And it's also going to blend in with the t-shirt. So now it's blending in with the t-shirt well and you have your text. And there it goes. That's pretty much how you're gonna get it done. Um, I'll sh I'll show you guys a background, just a quick background to do. You would just add another layer, and you would just add like a white. Whoop. I gotta put this underneath him. You would just add like a white paint bucket tool, like that. And then under that, you would add another layer, and then you would take out your your brush tool at a Use a soft brush usually. I use soft brush for the shadows. Take your soft brush, add a little shadow underneath him. Control, right click it and distort it. And then put him put it below Kawhi. And then you can just keep messing around with that a little bit. Maybe distort it a little bit more. Like that. Boom. And then add a little bit of shade. So we'll add, add another layer above Kawhi. Clip it to him, pressing Alt, pressing Alt. And then drop your flow down. And add that shade on, on the bottom so that it looks like there's a real shade. It gives it that effect. This is pretty much how you're gonna get it done. I could go into the advanced parts of it and just get like all nitpicky about it and delete and stuff. But I'm just trying to show you guys the way and you guys can do do all that fancy design work that you're gonna do behind them and all that type of stuff if you guys want to want me to show you guys how what I do usually on designs just let me know I can show you some of the templates that I've been using but uh, just make sure you let me know in the comment section if you want to see any pictures that I really use like the t-shirt pictures I could drop links to that as well but um make sure you guys drop a like if this tutorial helped you out and make sure you turn post notice on, sub to the channel. We're on the road to 1K. We're getting close, man. I appreciate everybody that always is stopping into the channel, checking out the live streams, checking out the videos. Until next time, it's been Council Scope, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.